see you got you got to understand that these are a few books that I have I just got this one yesterday this is um meet your straw man I had to get this book even though I, 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 I've read about it and I watched documentaries about it but I still had to get the book and this right here is about um this is the this is the UCC how to free yourself from um um legal tyranny see you got to understand that they they legalized slavery slavery was never abolished if anybody that tells you that slavery was abolished they just ignorant they don't know no better you see the scripture right here it says happy i don't know if y'all can see that but it says happy is hold up happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man get and the man that get his understanding. That's in Proverbs three thirteen for all you Christian people. Y'all need to take heed to your own Bible. Happy is the man that find the wisdom, and the man that get his understanding. You better get some wisdom. E C E C some more. Ain't nothing wrong with getting wisdom. Well, how come you ain't got this E C? How come you ain't got this? So, but you got to understand, once you read these books and get the understanding of what's going on, you got to understand the reason why we are being gang stalked. I'm trying to tell you, man, just, it's just epiphany, dog. It just makes sense now. The reason why, I've been saying it a long time, but it's like now I really, really get it. The reason why they're doing what they're doing to us because, number one, America is in debt. We already know that. And you still belong to them. So until we take back our sovereign rights, our live birth certificate, then they still have they still have jurisdiction over us. So in other words, like since we have, you know, you got driver's license, you got passports, you got addresses, they ask you where do you live, you tell them where you live, but it don't make sense, it's all it's all word game. Cause what do you mean? Where where do I live? And then you give them an address. I, I live on Nightmare on Elm Street. So so therefore, what you don't live nowhere else? Like like you're dead if you uh, if you at the store or something. So it's like they play they play word games with you. It's all word magic and trickery. And they and they use Latin and they know you don't understand Latin. You thinking he's speaking English to you, but they're not. So their definition means something totally different than yours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, for example, like right here I was reading. Where my fast like that? Hold on. Like I'm reading this. Yes, I'm reading this. Uh, the, uh, what was it yesterday? And and I understand. I, I heard this before. So, where is that at? Here, let me let me show you this. I can show you this. They never hear talking about legal leads, right? It said legal leads is a secret language invented to trick you. It uses it uses English words, but attaches secret meanings to those words. With the sole intention of stopping you from believing that what they are saying to you has nothing to do with the normal meaning in the English language. Their purpose is, is to cheat you and rob you. For example, for example, they will ask you, do you understand? Now, I'm pretty sure some of y'all might have heard this before. They will ask you, do you understand? It says in English, that means do you comprehend what I'm saying to you? So that's when the cops and them ask you, do you understand? You're like, yes. What you don't understand is it, it means something else. And the automatic response would be yes, meaning I do comprehend what you're saying to me. But these sneaky upper hand people have changed the meaning and legalese to mean do you do you stand under me? Meaning do you grant me authority over you so that 
you have to obey whatever I tell you to do. You see what I'm saying? So they playing mind games with you in word. It's all word magic. You thinking that they mean something, and but they don't mean what you think they mean. So when you say, yes, I understand, you're basically giving them authority over you. You have become subordinate to them. So and what I'm so what we have to do is we have to um because this is what I'm working on right now. You have to take back your rights because you have to detach yourself from this matrix. You know what I'm saying? I'm already detached spiritually, you know, mentally and everything. I, now it's just it's time to detach myself physically, legally. You see what I'm saying? You got to do it legal now. Like literally detach yourself from the beast system. Because if you don't detach yourself from the beast system, you're just going to forever be owned by these predecessors right here. Because these people are not here no more, but their predecessors are here. And their predecessors are your slave masters. You see what I'm saying? So, as long as you, as long as you stay in their corporation, under their rules and their guidelines, and you got driver's license, you got passports, you paying mortgage, you paying rent, you working for the dollar, you know, all, all this crap, you know, all this stuff keeps us in their jurisdiction. So, like I said, this is just right here, just for the information. This information is for the ones that's trying to get about this crap. For the rest of the ones, the goofy people that be leaving goofy comments, man, look, I'm not paying y'all no mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this is enough. This is enough homework for myself anyway. So you could do what you want. You know what I'm saying? You could do what you want. What what you do don't concern me. You know what I mean? So if you want to be goofy? Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So, this is what we have to do. This is how we have to get out of this madness. Because the beast sold us out. They're in debt. You're worth a lot of money. We're all billionaires. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they're making, they've been making money off of us since day one. See, you don't know that we got two birth, two birth certificates. You got a dead birth certificate and you got a live one. And that live birth certificate is the one that they're making money off. That's the one that they're capitalizing off of. You see what I'm saying? And that's what you got to go claim. You know what I'm saying? And that if you claim that and get yourself about this madness, you know, you're no longer a so-called United States citizen. Because, see, y'all don't, don't understand the, the terminology of these words. When you say that, when you say that you're a United States citizen, then, bam, you basically admitting that you're a slave for this corporation because that's what it's all about so with that being said y'all you know don't forget to like share subscribe holla biz at you know i mean get your get your get your get your study game on you ain't gotta listen to nothing i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i guarantee you one thing you ain't gonna study you probably just gonna talk crap in the comment section you know what i'm saying talk about your belief systems or what you believe and what you don't believe and this ain't got nothing to do with no belief. This ain't got nothing to do with you believing in God or being an atheist. This is this this is the truth. This is the facts. This is tangible evidence. This ain't got nothing to do with no sky daddies, or this ain't got nothing to do with you not believing in no sky daddies. But this got everything to do with law. And with that being said, y'all, holla biz at DB Gangstar Simulation, the best channel on YouTube. Player, player.